Harbinger. So let's check that out and we'll come right back. Foreigner came out almost two years ago already, so it's been a hell of a ride in the past two years. It has been too incredible, yeah. We've added 10 new characters since launch, two new game modes. We've changed the onboarding and the network structure. So if somebody jumping into the game now, he is literally playing a different game. For year three, with the year of the Arbinger, we are doing things a little bit differently, and you can expect it to be a little bit more dark. The year of the Avenger will come with four new seasons. At the beginning of each season, we will release a brand new hero. There's going to be major events, new maps, new gear, ton of balancing, and so on. There are rumors of a new cataclysm coming to the land of Thorn. In the mid that chaos, new warriors mage, Paria. Characters with a much heavier background seize the opportunity to rejoin their faction. Every season, there's going to be a major event. And I think people will enjoy what we have planned for this year because we will remain mostly in the world of For Honor. We are going to inspire ourselves from the faction war. Balancing will continue to be the top priority for the game. We want to improve the offense, the reaction time, the revenge system, continue to fix targeting and character balancing, starting with the Shugoki, Lawbringer, and continuing with Warlord, Peacekeeper, and so on. The mindset of the team is to, to make For Honor a long-term success. It is available now, so you can get the four new heroes and extra bonuses. You get one week early access, which means that if you're getting it today, so next Thursday on January 31st, you get access to the Black Prior immediately. So it's also the same thing for the three additional heroes coming out later, plus an elite outfit. This is the starting point that once we have the description, the, it's uh, Vincent, the concept artist, tried to come up with the uh, Black Prior. And this is the first draft, and then he was exploring this. When we do the concept art, the, the word that we use a lot is um, collective unconscious, a uh, very mysterious feeling, very shadow, and that's uh, something that we wanted to bring it. First also, one, this uh, our homage of the Frazetta and how we create the different set is not only the different structure of the character but then we kind of gave them some type of rank system and that was a uh, very interesting and we wanted to bring that as a their sign and you will find a lot of those sign in uh, in their armors p armor pieces we can place the ornament at the right position but if we place it on the shoulder player will have a different variation of shoulder silhouette over of course like overall silhouette will change Ah, oh, my favorite, the shield. Oh, of course. I love the shield. You cannot s complete the character without the shield. Since, yeah. since this is huge Canva, you know, you'll see that. Two are here to do. It's gameplay time, exactly. So, Black Prior, uh, Knight, uh, Heavy class, male and female options, and the weapon is Sword and Kite Shield. So I like that you're talking in bullet points today. <laughs> we're going to see it in gameplay. What's important about this character? What does it bring to the table that's special? Um, so uh, let's show real quick what Bulwark Stance is. It's an, uh, it's an all-block normal stance. So this is unlike Conqueror and Warlord where they get superior block. They block something and then they punish. This one is a normal block. Doesn't interrupt the, uh, the heavy from the Shogoki, uh, as you can see. But what's really interesting is the bulwark counter. Uh -huh. If someone throws an attack at you, say uh, a regular top heavy, yes. you give it the bulwark counter and you yes. flip it out. And you say, okay, Shigoki's learned his lesson. Just toss right? 500 pounds of Shigoku over his head. I can't throw a regular attack at this guy. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to throw an unblockable heavy attack at this guy and say, all right. 
I got flipped again. Beautiful. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. This is nonsense. It's basically <laughs> unbeatable. Uh, so what's up next? I'm going to try regular attack field, unblockable heavy attack field. I'm going to try uh, demon embrace. So Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Oh, I flipped two. I flipped two. Counter the demon Black embrace. Fire. Come on. This is OP. This is ridiculous. Is what there any way to beat it at all? Guard break. Guard, okay, guard break. <laughs> all right, cool. That works. Um, people are throwing uh, target swapped heavy attacks through you that you can't parry. Well, this guy can flip it. Uh, black prior, male or female, flip that out. Um, so I'm super hyped for that. I think there's some other moves on this. Two seconds after you miss uh, a flip uh, attempt. So oh, let's see one of these executions while we're at it. Oh my god. This is your fast <laughs> one. You're going to want to equip that one in X. It I went think. so quickly, I don't know if you noticed. He chopped off the Shigoki's arm with his shield. Uh, what else do we have? Let's kind of go through the basics of this character as well. Uh, chains are a two hit uh, system. Light, light. As you see here, light, heavy. The heavies are undodgeable. And get me executed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. Oh. Good. I hope my uh, five-year-old son is not still watching the stream at this point. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, we've got a dodge forward uh, shield bash, uh, which connects to light finisher. Can't do anything about that. We can also reach that in our chains by going light and then shield bash. Probably die this one. Might die. Yeah, I'll dive. That's pretty cool. Tenebrous thrust. Boom. Depending on space. Uh, and what else do we got on these moves? Light openers. Uh, I'm going to do a superior, or I'm going to set you up for a superior block. Just minimum heavy. Yeah, just top. So nice. gets uh, unblockable. Uh, does a bit more damage. Uh, same thing on Dodge Ford Heavy. You ready? Yep. Awesome. This character can also be cancelled into a... There you go. Forward moving uh, Shield Bash attack. That fall flows to your finisher again. And, uh... Yep. Again. And finally we've got a Zone Attack, which is a melee attack, and flows to the finisher as well. So the zone is a melee? Yes. Oh, cool. So it's a bit different than glad. It doesn't automatically flow into a second hit. Right. Um, it's your option to throw a second or not. Okay, one more time. Boom. That's what I got. So that's what you're supposed to do, right? It's, uh, it's more like Ermusha's Blade Blockade, but a little more utility. It's not going to be S, S, S tier character. <laughs> because of this one move. So whoever's freaking out in chat can... Uh, tier 3 feet coming up. Opponent's going in revenge. And we're going to remove the shield with a tier 3 feet. <laughs> so that's, that's amazing. Super cool. That's super it's, cool. It's the ghost from Mario Kart. They're still in... Exactly. They're still... <laughs> which is awesome. They're still in revenge. They have the revenge properties, but the shield is removed. You can remove anybody's shield when you want. It's a pulsing AoE that applies shield to you and your nearby friends. Uh, and you'll see the warden's going to hit your friend, lose a shield, boom, reapplies it. So for a certain period of time, everyone is going to get continually shield to shield. And it's, it's only active in that moment that it's pulsing? Exactly. Oh, so cool. it reapplies and reapplies. Cool. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So it's very dangerous to try to fight their friends in that time. You can do great team-saving, game-changing fights, save your commander, all that kind of stuff. And that's I'm a big fan awesome. of the Tier 1 feat. So that's... Yeah, absolutely. That's coming up uh, just now. We're going to cut our own... Oop. Oh, one more Back time. Back to it, please, Sorry. Max. Sorry, last time. We're going to cut our own HP and apply shield to one friend nearby. Super cool. That's super cool. That's the darkness right there. <laughs> darkness. The darkness cuts your HP, give a shield to your friend. And the cooldown is, is pretty, pretty quick on that, too.
dual dual skirmish and elimination. Exactly. Right? Okay. There you Cut. go. Good. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the main mode of this map will be Dominion, and I think many people will be happy to hear that. Uh, here, okay. So here I'm. I went towards the most right exit. So this will lead me. You can see a little bit of the lane, but I'm going to show that to you guys the later. Boats yeah. and, uh, and the sea. But here you can see it's the, the it's that place. It's where we have all the mechanism that can actually activate the, the defenses that are uh, yeah. in the sea that we, we kind of see those right there in the back. Yeah. So these were supposed to to stop the the the, the Vikings, but uh, obviously it didn't yeah. work well. Didn't say, ah, you just <laughs> got on a break. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so right. So yeah, you just uh, so yeah, as you said, the, there. This is where the, they kind of fortify against a ship. Um, End up right now on the yeah that uh, masterpiece, which is the the big mother ship, the the giant yeah. boat that is in the middle. And quickly travel with these zip lines to the other capture points. And that's a fast travel way. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, exactly where I where I was before. Here you at the also. Yeah, that's a fast way because if you think yeah. about. Uh, like one of you the map. Have to run like yeah, a you have to run to, to get to point A. Now you can quickly go from. Another more than that. That's yeah, that's <laughs> there's another one here. And there's a donkey. <laughs> so I love donkey. He escaped from Market Town, so yeah. now he's in. Uh, now he's in the harbor. It's the, it's the egg of. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> really fun to play in, and the whole map again. It's a very fast-paced map. Uh, it's pretty small in size, but very well balanced. And I think you're going to get a very arcadey feel out of it. You know? And later on in the show, we are going to see three matches yep. Yep. playing in Arbor yep. against the Dev. We'll come back and we'll try to get their revenge. Right. Because they got yep. their ass kicked yeah. in yeah, Breach. On, and again, uh, as you saw during the, the small intro, it will be playable in Vankenheim and uh, Meyer yes. as well. Yeah. Uh, Sugar Key changes. Yeah. What's going on with Sugar Key? Uh, two things. Well, wait, what's the goal here? What's the goal with your Shigoki update? Excellent question. <laughs> uh, there's both sides of the thing. Yeah. When you fight against a Shigoki, it's extremely annoying right now on live because you have to guard break them to drop their shield uh, or their, their passive uninterruptible stance. Uh, then it's down for five seconds. You can fight for a little bit. Eventually it comes back and you have to guard break them again. They know you have to do this, so it becomes this like, when are you going to guard break? When are you going to do attack. nothing? Heavy attack. Uh, zone attack, this kind of stuff, is going to get the regular uninterruptible stance, aka super armor, that like Berserker or Warlord, for example, have. That's how it's going to go. Uh, health has been reduced to 140 from 160, um, and we think that's a combination of like the passive interruptible being removed is going to be totally fine on the Shigoki. Right, because the Shigoki is no longer taking more damage when it's in passive and uninterruptible stance. Exactly, because there is no right, passive uninterruptible gone. stance. Perfect. But so, I've heard his Demon's Embraces are now a much more reliable way to heal himself. It's actually usable in 1v1 combat. You don't just need a wall to do that. Uh, it's still just as good in group fights in a slightly different way, and we'll see how, how in a minute. Uh, so first up, Light Attacks. Uh, how do we build this guy back up? Um, light Attacks are 500. They were 600. They were 600, so you couldn't really throw them out there unless you thought the guy was going to guard break you. So they're 500, and you get... Uh, uninterruptible stance, normal super armor, at 200 milliseconds into the strikes. So you can see him throwing like light, and he gets super armor, so he's well protected. Uh, same deal on the heavies. You get heavy uh, super armor when you launch the heavy strike portion. Uh, it becomes a little more interesting on this one. Heavy attacks can now be fainted even once they reach the unblockable uh, phase, as you're seeing there. Uh, heavy attacks can also cancel into Demon Embrace, even once they make it to the unblockable portion. Are now 800 in the quickest uh, version of the heavy. Uh, so no charge. Uh, and it used to be 1100. Yeah, it's much faster. Throw out the headbutt after a light, after a heavy, after a zone attack. And it doesn't actually matter if they hit or miss. Yeah, so you can see him like whiff here. Maybe. Two seconds? That was a zone attack. There you go. So you can still do interesting things in group fight. You can bait people. And you're so frame advantage that it's hard to tell. Is it a real heavy? Is it an unblockable heavy? Is it a faint guard break? Is it a demon brace? That's the mix-up we're trying to set up. Mm -hmm. Same thing you'll see after the demon embrace. Timings are changed here such that you're so far ahead on frames as well. 
that you should be able to throw a light that they will have to quickly defend against or a heavy unblockable mix-up, a, a successful hug, Beautiful. and can continue pressure, restart pressure. Right. So, they're so you down wanted to keep the move, but change it. Change the way it would. Heavy unblockable finisher is possible now. As you saw there. And same rules as the opener. It can be fainted in the unblockable portion. It can be transitioned into Demon Embrace during the unblockable portion. Uh, all these options are there. The Demon's Embrace also doesn't interrupt uh, Revenge. Right? That's right. We did remove that. Um, <laughs> so moves. <laughs> okay, but we're not done. We're not done. We're not we still done. have we a couple other characters that you've updated. Right. Exactly. The intention being, this is now your best uh, top, or sorry, light parry punish. I'll throw your top yep. light. And top heavy is guaranteed. I couldn't block it. It's minor, wow. but I think with the opportunities to get these uh, better parry punishes, better guard break punishes, all the things you want, um, top tier are playing this weird out of lock game in duels. So let's start with the nerfs. Out of lock crashing charge is now going to hit at 500 ms. It used to hit at 300 ms. So the hope is in duels when you're only looking at one person, this becomes reactable. Agrees. So what about light light? <laughs> there we go. Hey. Perfect. And what about heavy heavy? Hey, even better. Also good. Um, light finishers are all 500 ms. Uh, the light openers have superior block. Superior block. I've heard light attacks now gain the unblockable property. And do more damage. Yep. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, 29 <laughs> up from 17. And the side one is 25 up from 15. Well, that's a, so a healthy, a buff. healthy so damage it, buff. That's super annoying. So you enter it. You release. You regen your stamina. Beautiful. All good. Uh, entering is now also 10 stamina, down from 15. We think this is okay because the big penalty is that once you go in, you're going to get guard broken if you're in that stance. Each one of the polygons, which bone to follow? And then we animate that. Some of the bones are animated by the animators. Some of the bones are animated uh, by themselves. We just put rule sets in the bones to move them around by themselves. So it's kind of like automatic animation. And you have a saying. Maybe it's not yours. Oh, but... yeah, yeah. Characters are... Only made out of. Uh, gave us a hand here. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, just sit you, back. Yeah, you and sit <laughs> back. You and sit back and get along. <laughs> um, so here you can see me uh, putting bones in the arm that we have here. Um, you know, bones are whatever. They're just cubes. They're just the game doesn't. So we just have a couple of animatable bones in it. Over. I will take up arms again. Get out of the shadows. And teach them true darkness! Show you guys a breach match with the new Black Prior. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Oh, wait, we're starting. So we're cutting into uh, the attacker's perspective. We have um, setback on the Black Prior for the attackers, and we're also going to feature Stefan on the Black Prior yes. for his first game. So we're going to be eyed on. Set back and uh, Stefan for his first game. Yeah. You can see here the Black Prior just sitting beside the ram, trying to get it pushed as fast as possible. Making towards sure the that game. it advances as much as possible, yeah. Gain as much time as possible. That's the game that the, the attackers need to play. Uh, the faster it goes, the less damage it takes, the less tickets you lose. That's your best bet. We can see here it's a 3v2 situation with the attackers outnumbering the defenders. Uh, we've got Pick Alex here on the Jan June. Uh, Black Prior gets the execution Ooh. on Stefan there. Black Prior, Black Prior action. Nothing better here. Very well played. We got Pick Alex on the Janjun here. Uh, <laughs> Roman tries to go for the guard break. Guard break unsuccessful, and he just wastes that for to give. Oh wait, but they're doing pretty well. I mean, they managed to kill two of the uh, the, the attackers, so that's two tickets if they can play this right. Hopefully we get the ticket bleed there. Yeah. Roman just trying to get the hug there on oh, the back he does. It no. is successful. And that is a, a new thing on the Shigoki that the um, the hug no longer makes you invulnerable. Yes. You can get hit out of the hug by your teammates and by enemies. That's a big, big one. It's a big change. So you can just hear um, we have Stefan on the Black Prior trying to go up against Kitty's Shigoki, the reward oh. Shigoki. Just went over the edge there. Janjun tries to go for the guard, but guard break unsuccessful. Sidelight lands on Stefan, takes him out, and we just have setback back into the action, and a beautifully timed hug there. Very from well done. Very well Kitties done. Kitty's followed up by the heavy verbi. Setback to finish him off and get the clean kill. 
this is a common occurrence that we see like lots of fight around the, the healing point which is always kind of a funny thing to do it's like do you gamble do you try to grab it at any cost knowing that you might die there but uh, it's been it was very well done by the attackers at this point the shield pass was used there successfully by setback to drain roman of stamina good knockdown into those top heavies revenge was ready but he had no time to proc no it. No time to do it. So you can see here, uh, Setback just trying to move up to the Archer lane, seeing that the first point has been captured by the attacker successfully. They did that really quickly, but they still don't have the second one, and that might hurt them a little bit as they're getting closer to, uh, to docking. They have drained a few tickets. As you can see, the revives are at points where it's not really easily accessible for the attackers. Yeah. They're uh, in a... It's a decent situation for the defenders. Um, it's not perfect. I think they're, oh yeah. This is the 1v1 we've been waiting for. Yeah. Stefan versus the creator, the creator of the characters we know and love against Setback. He's been uh, putting in a lot of hours on the Black Friar. Yes. Nice hug there from Romance. Oh, Secure very, that very top good. heavy there very good. by Stefan. Great coordination. Gets the top heavy and takes out Setback. Nice and doesn't take a the chance titties. there. He <laughs> tries to go for the for the, the counter, the pancake flip, as you like to call it. <laughs> and this is very well played. He's, oh, is he grabbing it? Is he grabbing it? Taking advantage of the fact that the Shigoki is a little busy and he's going with the shield. So if they manage to, to plan that shield, shield that gate a little bit, I think that might make a big difference later on. They're performing really well here with the yes. attackers on 19 tickets and the ram has not even been docked here. No. Yeah. So. Looking at here, we actually want to listen in to what the attackers have to say. I need a shield. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to give it to you. Crap. I'm dead. Well, I used the shield, but it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Through the wall. I, I think it's a range thing. I have to be a little ah. bit closer. He's capping. I can't stop yeah. him. Oh, darn it. So close. We'll be fine. Uh, should I go for this res? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wall throwing. Uh, Okay, we're docking. Alright, I'm coming up to the two. I'm gonna respawn. Nice parry. Okay, one's dead. So the ram has been successfully docked by the attackers, and they're trying to capture the second point here. Taking out Nuke on his Nabushi, getting the guard break onto. Oh pick Alex and securing the second point for the attackers. This will be a big advantage when it comes to securing the the ram. Yeah, if they manage to push to the uh, the, the cauldron uh, capture point and they're not that far from doing that, they'll gain a big, big advantage. Right now, they're in a... I wouldn't say they're in a bad spot, but this is the second cauldron that they're about to drop. Oh, no, he, he managed to stop him, uh, or at least scare him is uh, probably a much better term. Um, with the ram having taken uh, an eight of the damage, like uh, more or less uh, a, a, a hit and a half from the cauldron, they're not in a great position. If the defenders manage to do a little bit more damage, one more hit, the ram will have taken 25% damage, and any extra damage will be applied to uh, the next round as opposed to being completely healed. So this, that would be a really good thing for the defenders. This is a big fight for the defenders here. Let's cut into the comms and see what they have to say on the cauldron point. <laughs> They're pushing the cauldroning, cauldroning. Right, uh, going down. Right, I'm gonna go down and contest. Oh, you should go right. heal. Keep pushing the ram, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. die or something. Shit! <laughs> just go the that. <clears throat> yeah, just go heal. Alright, I got one coming behind. Kill him! Yes! Oh. Did he die? Yeah, oui, mais je me suis frappé dans le dos par l'autre. Shit. Ça fait qu'ils ont pris la. It was real heavy. The fan there just gets taken out by Kitties on the healing point. He got set back. Trying to capture the cauldron point, but Nuke there gets the kick on him. Just follow up with the stab. Unsuccessful, but does get the dash attack. I mean, the running attack. The running attack was really nice there. You can tell we're really an international team in Montreal yeah. <laughs> with a different language being spoken by different devs. So if you miss part of it, don't worry about it. It's just picky uh, making sure that his teammates know exactly what he's doing. They managed to break the gate. 32 tickets, a lot of tickets. Uh, 
it should be an interesting finish. They're, they're in a good spot right yeah. now. They started off a bit on the back foot. The, yeah. the, the devs really did push them back. But they managed to reclaim it just as the, uh, as the ram was docked. And I would like to say that is that is due to them capturing the archer points. Yes. The archer points really helped out by clearing out the minions in the ram. meant they had to focus less on clearing out the minions in the ram and could focus more on taking out yeah. the opponents. But on the other side, by being able to shield the gate, the devs bought themselves a little bit more time to, to drain a bit more tickets. Unfortunately, they didn't do... Uh, enough damage on the ram to really carry over to the second round, to the second phase. We have Stefan here just clearing out the officer at the archer point. Just making sure we try and keep the archer points for as long as possible. We've got Hyperion here on the Valkyrie going against the Ooh. Black Prior. That was a really nice combo, a that nice sweep. The good combo goes the shield bash, followed up by the two light attacks. Deadly Valkyrie speed. Gets the guard breaking to that side heavy. Stefan in a really yep. dangerous spot here. Can he call for backup? The dash attack just finishes him off. That was a very nasty sh fight. It was. It looked like it could turn, but no. We got a 2v2 situation here. Can we just cut into the Faction War fan club and hear what they have to say? The uh, flag up. The two, one's coming. Oh, it's just off circuit. Never mind. I think there's another two minutes before it's up. Uh, need, someone needs help on the healing point. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot over here. I can do this, kiddies. Okay. Go help. You're more useful. Help it out because you got that attack up right now. I was hey, waiting. Nice. I was waiting. They were gonna cap this, uh, capping four and five. five. Whoa, that roll. You guys are good down there. It looks like I'm going straight to five to cap. Nice. I tried to confirm it. Yeah, I saw. Ah, I'm down. Going for the res. Nice. <laughs> Sprinting yeah. heavy. Yeah. OP. You guys got two around the ramp. Beautiful stand there by Pick very, Alex. Very, very, very nice. He tried his hardest. He was unsuccessful in the end, but very good effort nonetheless. I love that little yell at the end. <laughs> Nuke just gets the guard break there on the setback. Setback falls up with a shield bash. Stamina super low there for Nuke. She kind of has to pull back with that guard break. Plus oh, the setback, and he gets taken up by Kitties. His own teammate. <laughs> now that, that is an F in the chat. That is an F in the chat for respect. Yep. Nice shield bash Ooh. that top light. <laughs> but that he gets taken out once again. Very nice. Kitties. Very, very nice use of Ballista there. Just the perfect timing to shoot in the window and clip his foot. Kid is just swinging. He is swinging restlessly. Gets another uh, heavy bear on Nuke. And the Ooh. hyper armor there just saves him. Nuke in a dangerous oh. spot. Yes, sight heavy, and there is that beautiful new execution for the Shigoki. We got Stefan here just respawning, trying to see where is the best place to place himself in this situation. So we're seeing a heavy use of the Ballista by the Defender, which is probably a very smart thing. Try to get some control of the battlefield in a, in a not a massive fashion, but in a good fashion. Uh, if you can't keep the Archers, at least have the, uh, the Ballista. Hug is successful there, and Very the top nice. heavy, also successful there by Kitties, and another one of those beautiful Shigoki executions. I can't get enough of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just splats them on the wall. That's it. You're done. Yeah. Oh, there. One v one situation against Roman. That's by Jasmine with Garbage. Garbage unsuccessful. Nukes here to assist him, and Kitties here to assist setback. Let's cut into the Faction War fan club to see what they have to say in this three v two situation. Yeah. Coming down to help on the heal point. I'm gonna see if I can ballista. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm oh, not the here. Rams! I'm in not the way. here. I'm not here. You jerk! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Good dodge. Om nom chibai. The devs come out on top in that situation, and the hug there just secures revenge for Hyperion. Here goes the fan going again, going against Baxter here. A very aggressive Zerker. Can he use a board stance to get a good counter? I'm always very torn in this, these kind of situations. I'm a Zerk. I love watching a good Zerk player, but my heart is with the dev at the same time, <laughs> so I don't know who to cheer for at this point. Nuke just trying to clear out the minions beside the ram. Realizing he has to stop it before it gets to the gate. They are... Uh, they're doing pretty well. They're, it's a fairly decent stand. Um, the ram is probably a little too healthy for my taste, personally. On the other hand, they're draining their tickets. They're down to 27. Uh, it's 
looks like a big number, it's not that big really. Uh, that that number can drop really quickly, especially since they haven't broken the gate yet. So. Roman's been doing big work on the Shigoki. They're yes. securing those stuns, helping his team out, and his team synergizing in the comms just to get the, the heavy punish, punishes timed perfectly. We saw the Shigoki trying to sneak with the, the flag, the shield flag, and not successfully bringing it all the way. We're gonna have another massive fight around the back of the ramp. I love these fights, they're always uh, messy but satisfying. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at what the uh, Faction War Fight Club has to say about <laughs> that one. Yeah, I think we're fine. Into the bushes, rest <laughs> in peace. <laughs> Alright, man, we're positive, we're being positive game. Yeah, it's sorry. Very it's positive. positive. Douchebag. Dead. <laughs> Be very positive. Smile. Alright, helping on the healing point. I'm gonna run up to seven. Oh, GB for you? Okay. Wow, he paired. I'm out of stem. Oh. <laughs> Hot soup still out of stem. Okay, now. Oh, whiffed. Man, my damage is so uh, I'm not in position. Right. Oh my god, Sugar, where'd you come from? <laughs> he gave it to you. Uh oh. Oh, that uh -oh. tracked! I'm uh -oh. gonna give revenge. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of minions on the ramp right now, and Shugo. You got a shield on you? Thank you. I'm in a 1v1 on 7. Ha, <laughs> nice. Oh, interesting. Oh! <laughs> I just crushed your charge, Jordan <laughs> son, dude! <laughs> crushing charge that? Yep. What? Crushing... Camper. Crushing charge, can Yeah, crushing charge, the uh... <laughs> Wow. What a bunch of positive gamers. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful bulwark stance in that, uh... <laughs> That crushing counter. That was uh, that was very uh, impressive. So now they really, really need to do a stand. They need to keep the ram stop completely. Nice. If only to drain more tickets. Uh, maybe do damage on the ram, but at this point, uh, the ram is way too healthy uh, for it to be stopped. Unless, who knows? Nice uh, side there by Pick Alex, trying to make the most of uh, setback being out of stamina. But realizing the, the setback cannot be stopped. Ooh, nice unblockable nice. attack there. So pulls back, tries to go closer to the ram. A very close situation. That There we go, that feet too that they talked about earlier yep. on, where if you go into Bulwark stance, he's able to, to heal a bit. Now he's got to watch out for those pikemen because they, they have pointy sticks. <laughs> pointy sticks which seemingly have taken him out. Yes. So we just Although... step back here trying to go back to the healing point. Healing point still being contested by Stefan. Going up against Baxter. Successful guard break there. Just goes for the wall spot. No follow up there from Stefan. Nice bulwark stance. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. situation. Let's cut into the For Honor Death team and hear what they have to say. I'm. Not my fucking game. Cool. Like. Ah, uh, you are all dead. I'm. Um, uh... Yo. We gotta wait all together, uh, so I'm pretty sure it's yeah. done. I thought I was coming in time, but you were dead. Not sure what to do now. We need to uh, regroup. Cauldron. Yeah, Cauldron. Yeah. To buy time. Yeah, I gotta go in lane. There's no choice. They're going to... Uh... Look, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm a bad luck You have the best timing. It's insane. That that was... Uh... Look, I, I thought they were doing well. I thought, you know what? <laughs> Yo, shout out to the dev team. It's 3v1 situation. And then I realized they're all dead. <laughs> It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So we see Setback, the positive gamer, climbing up the ladder to uh, assist his ally who needs help. <laughs> He's in a 3v1 situation. Stefan just going up against Baxter with his allies. Baxter really holding up his own here. He does. Charge heavy coming out from Roman. And uh, Stefan realizing that it's probably best he goes to another part of the map. Shigoki just walking past him. And the execution coming out on Nuke. Yeah. Trying to clear out, clearing out the minions, but gets taken out there by Valkyrie. He's trying very hard to uh, to stop the ram completely, but I think, yeah, my gut feeling is that ram is going through. Uh, good call. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the ram down. Four tickets added for the attackers, leaving them in a very healthy position of thir thirty tickets. They're and moving straight to the commander, of course, realizing they... two of the defenders are down. Yep. They timed that fairly well. Uh, not the best, but pretty good. Good feet. You so many feats were released there by all of the people. Let's cut into to faction war fan club and uh, see what we're saying here. Wait, 
Uh, I guess not. Um, so we have pretty good... St I think the defenders can do a, a lot of good right now. They need to probably farm their feet a little bit more. And that's why they're dealing with the, the, the pikemen as much as they are. Uh, even though that's a good idea in general. Because you don't want your commander to pull out to put himself in the range of the, the ballistas. So... You manage if you if you do it correctly as far as defense is concerned, you can do two things at the same time. As attackers, you want to do the same thing. You want to your minion, your pikeman, to make it all the way there, pull out the commander, make him a, a vulnerable target. Uh, much easier to use the ballista on the commander versus uh, going one on one on them. You've got pick Alex here, just going up against Baxter. Hopefully, trying to pick up the revive on Stefan. Kitty gets the revive on the setback, saving them a ticket and making, sh making sure that they stay healthy on their attack. They're trying to capture point eight here to get the uh, the help of the archers to clear the minions and uh, hopefully get a better position on the commander. His executions, man. His executions Very are nice. something else. We, uh, did we mention how much we like our animation team? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think you guys have mentioned that enough. I don't think you mentioned uh, how... Uh, they do beautiful, amazing work. Oh! Nuke just trying to pull set back away from the healing point. Uh, Nuke's been, uh, he's been... He's been one to watch for the death team. Yes. His Nabushi is, uh, has been unrivaled here today. I guess the smoke bomb off. That means uh, it puts set back in a tricky situation here fighting over the healing point. A 3v1 situation, let's hear it from the For Honor dev team. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with Soothing Mist. Oh my god, I keep getting interrupted. Well, the Black Prior realized that it's uh, it's best he sticks to the commander and not at this hectic team fight up Keep at the Keep him safe, point. farm as much as possible, maybe get uh, either shield or some healing uh, for the commander. It's never a bad idea. At this point, I think it's as much as much more of a delay game as that they play. Can they run out at 10 minute clock? Probably not, but they can drain tickets at the same time. So Well, the commander's still a healthy position. He's in yeah. a good place. He's in There's a good place. three tickets about to be drained from the attackers. Yeah. So... They're, they are still fighting an uphill battle. They're not saying anything. Uh... It's not. E it's not going to be easy. It is still possible. The Shugoki hasn't sung yet. <laughs> Roman just going up against Setback here. Top heavy lands there from Setback. Ooh, so does nice. the Ag, but Ooh, the Hyperion interrupted. interrupts, and that is a big change for Shugoki that will take a lot of time for people to get used to. They'll have to though. And it no longer executes on nope. the uh, last That's right. pick. Has to go for the hug there, kitties, but fails spectacularly as the Nuke do dodges out of the way. Nuke is out of stand though, so he's got to be careful. Especially with a person against Black Prior. Black Prior will make sure that you remain out of stamina for as long as possible. There's a bit of bulwark stance there. Doesn't follow up with anything. No, Nuke has revenge, but it's uh, he's, he's 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 holding off from using it. Yes, the guard break into that top heavy on setback. Oh, very up nice. The kick very into that top nice. Line. Oh, yeah. Nice little combo there from Nuke. There we go. Procs the revenge, but setback. The positive gamer <laughs> says he is leaving. Nice. He, oh, oh, the bulwark stats in the counter. Nice. Now that was a neat play. Pick Alex and you going up against the beautiful setback. Just look at his hair, hair coursing through his head. <laughs> oh wait, we have got revenge. Guard break, but uh, no follow up there. Does yep. knock him down. And, uh, Two on one. Takes out Pick Alex. We got Stefan here going up against Baxter, and the commander comes out of nowhere to take him out. Besides that, he has uh, no time for uh, Pikeman. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see here that Stefan's a bit behind when it comes to the feats. He's only on his tier 2 feet when you can see setback here on his. Third feet, and Roman feet. takes him out, and is using uh, the signature Shigoki emo. <laughs> Let me just crush your head. Uh, we're seeing quite well. I don't want to say I, I, I don't want to sell anything short, but you know they managed to bring the, to bring them down by seven um, tickets. The commander is still in very in a very good position health wise. Uh, there's eight minute twenty seconds left on the clock. That's pretty good. Um, 
I wouldn't say that they're out of the woods yet, but at the same time, they're not doing bad. I do not doing bad. I do enjoy the the last stand on the commander phase. It is one of my favorite phases yes. in the in the breach matchup. There's a lot of a lot of things to consider, and it always just gets really hectic when you're fighting around exactly. the commander. But you got to earn it. Exactly. Now the attackers are uh, hopefully mounting up an attack against the commander, but realizing the the defenders uh, have something to say about it. Yeah, they haven't noticed that the attackers uh, kind of tried to, to take point eight. They kind of gave up on it. Maybe it'd be good, a good idea right now to say, let's take it, let's get the archer support, let's get our, our pikemen all the way to the commander, pull them out a bit, use the ballista, uh, use some distance uh, fight. We got here a fight on the healing point between Setback and Nuke. Nuke successfully Nuke. dodging those shield bashes. Uh, you know, if, 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 you, if you put them out a lot, they will be predicted. Ooh. And Kitty just gets the hug, followed up by the heavy there from Setback to finish him off. Again, a nice three-on-one fight uh, that they were they managed to quickly close out. So. And they're finally capturing the eighth point here. They finally got it. a big advantage when it comes to pushing to that commander. That could be the turning point. You can see here they're mounting up an attack. So let's just cut it in to the Faction War fan club and see what they're saying. We just let Vax wall up on the commander. Nice, nice Vax here. Just did a million damage heavy. Nice, kitties. Yeah. Guard broken. Oh. Guard breaking again. <laughs> uh oh, oh my god. Revenge. Careful. Oh. Careful. <laughs> I can't. Uh. You can rest whoever that is at the bottom oh, of the stairs. Yeah, yeah, well, nope. I want to achieve that good of a laugh in my <laughs> life. Kitty's <laughs> laugh is like no other. What was interesting there is that we've been told many, many times that, oh, the commander is very predictable, it's got a very simple pattern. It doesn't mean it's not deadly. He did manage to take, what, two, three of them out? Uh, even though they knew what he was going to do. <laughs> uh, it's all a question of when he's doing it and how he's doing it. Uh, the defenders need to support him. If the, the, the defenders don't support him, of course he's going to be easy to deal with. The problem is those pesky other players that can uh, really screw you over. You can see here, they're just getting healed up to go for this last attack against the commander. The defenders are uh, sitting close to the commander, and we have the attackers approaching. Let's once again listen to the Faction War Fan Club in this last attack. Whoa, where did you come from? So good at that. I just took like 400 damage from something. Sorry. Okay. Did we get the commander? Yep. <laughs> that you are strong. There we go. There you have it. Very the well done. The Faction War Fan Club take the victory and win that game with seven. The strategies help them win battles against impossible odds. The port still holds immense strategic value for its location and continues to be a highly contested area. Here we can see a complete overview of the harbor with the objective points crossing the map diagonally. The defending team spawns in their barracks with paths leading them to each capture area. On the other side, the attacking team spawns on a wreck ship used in their assault. Just like the defenders, they also have quick routes to all capture areas. Let's take a closer look at the three zones. Capture area A is a lookout tower with ample fighting space. There's also a ledge where you can do a drop. So you can see there the, surprise, apparently. the, the poor little minion hanging from his leg. Yeah, He's, uh, they look so badass in these cinematics, <laughs> and then it, it all goes to the hell once it starts, you know? They're just not as good. <laughs> it all goes south. <laughs> okay, Kitty's here on the Shigoki, going in for a point A. It's a point A, a pretty interesting uh, fights to have in, in this map, considering the 
the the hole that's right in the middle of it. Uh, there's still like space around it to make sure that you don't get ledged, but uh, it requires you to be uh, careful. We got uh, Stefan on the uh, on the Black Prior there again. Kitty out of stamina. This is a very dangerous spot to be in against the Black Prior. Tries to go put a heavy cancel into that shield bash, but is uh, not successful. Gets the oh. forward counter on Kitty, and uh, he was talking behind the scenes about really wanting to get more bulwark counters uh, when he's playing. It's because they look so badass, you know? Kitty they look so good when you do this. Kitty tried to go for a full charge, heavy, unsuccessful. Light attack comes out from Stefan. Gets two in a row, and he is out of stamina. <laughs> the hug comes out. And, and uh, that's going to be it. We can see that there's uh, not much happening on the, the other points. Uh, still fighting for control over both of those, but it seems the attackers are taking over now. And uh, we've just got here Nuke on the Jang Jung. He was on the uh, Nabushi previously, but I was hearing uh, some locker room talk about him being uh, quite the gamer on this character. Oh yes, it's uh, it's honestly scary, man. We got here Shaolin just following up setback on the Shaolin. Gets a nice little combo on setback. Setback tries to go for the guard break, unsuccessful. Baxter on the Berserker, trying to drop those heavies. Setback trying to go for the kick, kick unsuccessful as well. Setback is down. And uh, Jang Jun just pulling back to the C point, trying to regenerate some health. But Baxter says no. Oh, Baxter is going all in for this. He's just not going to leave them take that point. Let's cut into the dev team to see what they're saying against this Baxter. Yeah, we can't oh, do, so that's can't do much. Ah! Ah, oh, no! Oh, yeah, we're crashed. <laughs> Just run. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go to our home. Okay. Uh, I was distracted. I gotta get Shigoki one more time. I guess. You lost zone C. Oh. I'm so glad we got this. <laughs> 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 That's pretty much how I imagined it, you know? <laughs> that was an epic retake by the Faction War fan club. Uh, you know what? We should shorten that to FW. Wait. I can't do Faction I can't War do words. fan club. FWF. FWF. Very, yes. There we go. Okay, guys, I, I didn't study my alphabet, okay? So you got Kitty's Chinese... French alphabet, so... <laughs> yeah, French alphabet, it's not, it's not the same, dude. Double V. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Kitty's against the fan here, being backed up by the customized Hyperion on... <laughs> customized Hyperion on the Black Friar. Gets a nice little zone there on Stefan. Guard break successful, gets the wall splat into that side heavy, but does not finish him off. But the light there sure as hell connects. Uh, that duel is going to be interesting. I don't know if he can actually do it. He's going to be, uh, he's going to have to be smart uh, about using that new tool set that's available to him. And no, nope, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no. Too bad. Too the bad Berserker was in the house. So <laughs> The zone into that top light sure as hell finished off. Kitty. We should go pick um, Nuke against Baxter here on the C point. Baxter out of stamina, very dangerous position to be. Gets the guard break, knocks him down. But Hyperion here is, uh, is defending his fellow gamer. The brave gamer fellows. Yuki's is doing a pretty good job at uh, keeping there for a while. Oh, and the drop attack is going to give him revenge, which. <laughs> he completely is that gonna missed the drop him? attack. Oh. And another <laughs> miss from the drop attack. What is going on here, guys? Gets that top and blockable heavy on setback, but you can, he's out of oh. here, but the feet is proc. Really and, nice uh, warp here by the, the Shaolin. You can see that Shigoki's unlocked his level 2 feet. He is a level 2 Goki, and uh, you know what guys, that's just how the Mafia works. <laughs> <laughs> Goes for the top light, top light unsuccessful, he runs out of stamina. And uh, Stefan just trying to keep the pressure on, gets the shield bash, stamina drain on Kitty. Falls up with another shield bash, but... You know, he regenerated stamina just before that one connected. You're having a hard time moving Kitty from that zone. He's using the Chigoki really well, I must say. He gets a side heavy there on Stefan. Does have revenge to use. The light connects. Tries to go for the Garbage. Garbage doesn't land on Nuke. And the side heavy also doesn't land. Nice guard break into that wall splat. Oh, not even the wall splat. Goes for the recovery. Uh, oh, sorry, the hug on the wake up. That's but gonna make him able to stay there even longer, so he's basically unmovable from this point. That's some big damage from Duke on Hyperion. Tried to go for the hug from Katie, but unsuccessful Hyperion um, interrupts. Let's take a moment here to look at the score. It's uh, 
almost uh, equal for both teams right now, so it's anyone's guess to who could actually win this. If, uh, if the dev actually succeed in moving Kitty from uh, point A, it might, uh, might uh, bring some big change. And uh, I hope they do, because, uh, yes, you know, they're representing me. <laughs> kind of uh, kind of humiliating right now. That is a nice bower stance. Let's take, take a listen into the FWF. More people coming. Oh hi! Mm. I'm going back to see. Oh hi, Wombo. Uh, I'm gonna oh my, oh hi, Wombo. <laughs> oh, Nutty. Nutty. Nice. Bashing again. Oh 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 no, no. Oh. Fire. Kill him, please. Hi, yeah, Dad. Don't stand in the fire. Oof, that looks weird. Oh, that zone. Oh, that's me so much. Oh, me for four. Here, my. Amazing. They Stop. were able to move it. That fire flask was just absolutely tasty. Top three fire flasks of 2019. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You won't believe number three. <laughs> it shocked me when I saw it. You, know? <laughs> you got the Janjun here just going up against Setback. Gets the kill. And he's on Hyperion now, but uh, gets destroyed with the Shield Bash combo. Oh, there we go. Kitty, oh, Kitty on point A? Here it is. The Shigoki Mirror Match, <laughs> and it's over. Great duo, guys. <laughs> now we can see Romance, <laughs> Romance controller fly, flying across okay. the studio. Yeah, I'm really surprised he's smiling. It's just, <laughs> did not expect that reaction. He's being a positive gamer. Yeah, when that happens, you know, you just have to go with the flow. <laughs> so we got Nuke against Kitty coming up on point A. Defenders uh, taking a bit of a, um, a bit of a hit on their score here. It's gonna, it's gonna get more difficult to uh, equalize this. Tried to go for the headbutt, headbutt unsuccessful, leaving Kitties out of stamina. The zone comes out, zone doesn't land top. Heavy is parried, and then Roman is just out of stamina. Kitty has nuke to proc. I mean nuke to proc, <laughs> revenge to proc. Goes for the charge, heavy charge, oh. heavy successful on Roman. As the screams of what the F man come out from it. Mention how heavy that Shigoki is. <laughs> right in the case. Oh, uh, hey, hey girl. <laughs> just posted up in the back of the club. Yeah, like, yeah, he's hey, just what's chilling, up, girl? you know. He didn't die, he just. He's, he's the gatekeeper. <laughs> just resting. <laughs> oh, I, I love the execution so much. It's, uh, it, it creates for some awesome set pieces. It's too bad because uh, I think we saw the devs like trying to switch up their strategy a bit and uh, going for Kitty and that uh, that point trying to see if they can uh, get some kind of advantage by uh, killing him and dealing his respawn, but uh, no, to no avail, unfortunately. <laughs> so we have the dev team on breaking right now. It's going to be right to the... M well, they do have uh, 500 deaths actually. I looked at the scoreboard and uh, <laughs> yes, they do have 500 deficit. It really depends how they decide to play us. There's still uh, th three of them left. So if they play it conservatively, might be possible. Shout out to Kitty for not ledging right yeah. there. That's a very honorable gentleman. Tries yeah. to go for the headbutt into the well and uh, <laughs> unsuccessful. I think Nuke would have ledged yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nuke definitely would have ledged him there. Kitty 1v1 against the very basically the, the protagonists of our story in this game. Yes, Kitty so we have uh, Pickalex that just died and uh, Stefan that was actually revived. So we're still at three against four. Uh, that breaking is actually proving uh, quite interesting. We might see some upset uh, possibly if they bring out their A game on this. So since this is a situation that we have landed on with setback and Kitties against Nuke, I really want to hear what uh, the dev team have to say. The control is so annoying, man. It the keeps one? vibrating. Like. Yeah. Can it like stop? Oh. L look, so classic, like, just blaming it on the controller, look, man. Look, <laughs> I, the, my luck to changing every time I say let's cut to the dev team, they get murdered. Okay, yeah. so I need to just not cut to the dev team anymore if, if there's any chance of them doing anything. I knew you were doing that on purpose. You yeah. don't want them to win, do you? <laughs> So whilst Roman is getting ganked here, we're gonna move on to FWF's voice chat to hear them close out the victory. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Good game, good game. Rap, I'm just <laughs> that was a bit, uh, that was a bit <laughs> insulting, man. <laughs> 
laughing at them, not even <laughs> celebrating. Look, okay, what happened there with the dev team? They were all over the place. We played uh, a, t a test match before before we started streaming, and the dev team destroyed the yes. streamers. But <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, maybe it's the stress of being on camera, you know? They're not yeah. professional streamers. That's the excuse I'm going that, for. That, 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 that's, a good, that's a good excuse. That holds up in court. That holds I don't up know if they any... want my, my excuse, but that's the one I'm giving them. So, Yo, we tried to coordinate for us both to wear, you know, like v Vortiger color. You know, see this color? We didn't see this that. color? Matching. Matching. <laughs> Just trying color? to save the shirt. This color? No. That's neutral. That's... No, you do no any, the, anything you want with this. Look, it's, 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 it's a striped black top, dude. Yeah? Come on. It's an old classic. <laughs> Always works. See, l the last stream as well, he had his, his beautiful gold jacket, which he could have, you know, complimented this uh, decor at the back. But yeah, you uh, don't want to burn out the gold jacket. It's <laughs> gold. It's it's meant for rare occasions. <laughs> he, That's he, what he, it means. He, he only wears them one per occasion. The jacket is only, is only brought out for one occasion. <laughs> so after that, guys, we're going to move on to the second... Uh, exhibition game. Yes. Where I think we're moving on to a different protagonist for this game. So you know, everyone has their uh, everyone has their time on the camera. We've had Kitty. We've had Setback Underscore. Yep. Next, we're moving on to I think Baxter, Hyperion, and Pickalix. There we go. I wasn't listening to someone. I was uh, thinking about it. Yeah, he was <laughs> trying to remember it. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Hyperion and Pickalix. Hyperion. Uh, we've seen we've seen him on the Valk. We seen him on his um, Black Prior. I really yeah. wonder what he's going to bring out next. In this I'd next like game. to see Valk in some Valk gameplay, you know. But uh, like Valtiger is just just so appropriate right now with everyone playing Shigoki. Black Prior. You know, a, yeah, I know, but <laughs> he's playing the ma male version, so uh, I'm safe. <laughs> so there we go. The camera on Hyperion, looking handsome as ever. Look at those eyes. Look at this shirt. <laughs> Man, he knows how to <laughs> he knows how to pick an outfit. Unlike well, some. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, you know. No 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 chip on my shoulder. Okay, we're just going to wait for these guys to load into the game. Pick Alex has been uh, playing uh, first game he played the Janjun and the second game he managed to play, pick up the Berserker. I really wonder what he's going to play in this matchup. Yes. As you can see a different setting on the harbor map here. You just it's really interesting to watch uh, Pikachu play. I think he's one of the most uh, like um, versatile players of this uh, uh, of the floor he plays. I think every hero he can play at a very like, good level. A very so shout out for that. level. Yes, we're seeing yeah. some Vault gameplay. Yeah. Awesome. Finally some Vault gameplay for all those three Vault mains. This is for you. Hyperion is doing this for you. I'm a Vault main. I know. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, yes! <laughs> You can see here, they're trying to. This is typical Valk behavior, trying to go for the jump <laughs> attack. You know, this is this is just what you expect. He only hits a minion. That's what he deserves. If it works, it works. Chance to go for the guard break. Guard break unsuccessful on Nuke. Back again on that Nabushi. And Stefan back again on that Black Pride. Just look at that armor set. That is a beautiful armor set. He's going for Amazing. the skull mask and that shield. The shield is just that little teal color. <sighs> Something else. It's just really sexy. A big exhale. Big exhale. Once I see that, Stefan very low health, gets shield bash into that light combo, and Yuke just trying to pull back, and he makes it out alive, being chased by two members of FWF. I really like that. I really, I really like FWF. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds like a wrestling league or something. But I feel like we really need to add the C, FWFC. The, we just kind of ignored that it's a oh, club. Oh, that's true. It's not, yeah, it's, it's a club, it's a club. It's my mistake, yeah. you know, you trusted me and I failed you. I trusted you with the alphabet and you failed me. Yeah. So you can see here, B just being captured by our number one Valk, Hyperion. Now this it, this, well, this is some questionable customization of the Warden. That's a this Power is, Ranger. Havoc is curling in his boots after he sees this green Warden. <laughs> Tries to go for the headbutt, headbutt unsuccessful on pick Alex. He is getting completely ganked by both Hyperion and oh. Kitty. Procs revenge! Revenge on point on this. The Heavy does not connect on Kitty. Goes for another zone. Zone lands on Kitty. Just to go to hug, hug, hug unsuccessful. <laughs> and it's just, it was just a line. It yes, was just a line. It was murder. well fought. <laughs> Want to give a little quick notice of how uh, both teams seems to have um, 
uh, to keep the importance of the, the lane a bit more uh, in their priorities for this match, uh, trying to control that ledge over the lane, which is, even if you don't get your drop attacks, it does give you quite a bit of uh, zone control, which means you can, uh, can basically kind of make the other team what, do whatever you want because of the, the constant threat that you're posing to them. And like, and like Obi-Wan said, he has the high ground. And when you have the high ground... You don't anything, try it. Yeah, you don't you, try it. You literally do not try anything. Like, like even if you're ground. a Sith, like... <laughs> I'm a Sith. <laughs> so Hyperion just going up against Roman here. Has to give it a guard break. And uh, Kitty goes for the hug. But once again, interrupted by Hyperion. Sweep connects, but the revenge is progged by Roman. Will he stay and fight or will he run away? Nice Demon's Embrace there on Roman. Follows up with the heavy just as the revenge was finished to get the kill. Bit of a desperate revenge here. You can see that he was uh, super glad to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see actually the devs are winning on score. This is what I was talking about when I was saying the devs actually played really well in their practice games beforehand. Um, just warming up for the stream itself. Once again, we're looking at one of the most hideous wardens I've seen. And then, uh, I don't know, man. I I'm like it. I'm he, telling you. He has this, like, uh, I Elves uh, vibe. Guys, one in the chat, if that's a good word, and two in the chat, if, if you agree with me. So, we can see Valk here going up against Roman at the B point. B point, a heavily contested point in this uh, in this map. The hug lands there from Roman, giving him that vital HP back. He's uh, interrupted by Kitty, but does land the headbutt into the back crack. But Gets interrupted, interrupted by Kitty. Counter back cracked. <laughs> <laughs> counter crack. <laughs> the CC. That's that's C. Oh, that's what it stands for. Yeah. A counter crack. Oh. The, ca the counter crack. The C. Oh God, there's a warden. He will literally make you die just from looking at his fashion. That's just that's just how it is. <laughs> so what is worse, the fashion of this warden or the mustard shirt? And for the record, I like both. I'm, look, I, I've lo I've lost some friends, but. <laughs> for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry for a bit unless I listen in, into the For Honor devs. Gotta do like pick Alex right there and stand. How the hell hey. am I not in revenge yet? They abandoned A and they're coming to you. Fuck. Right now. I can't he's reviving. He's reviving. He's reviving. Shit. Is it? <laughs> Great switch there. So if you look at Luke in the background, he is offering up moral support in the camera. Luke, just smile for the camera, please. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He's got his really little party popper, win. his for honors, whatever they're called, inflatable bato batons. I, I, Baton? I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> Annoying sticks? <laughs> Is that a good word? I don't it? know if he's offering moral support or just being a nuisance to, to the devs at the back there. Both are sometimes really close to each other, you know? <laughs> so once again, Pick Alex finding himself in a 1vx situation. I guess. <laughs> I can't get over that. He has like a little whatever it is party 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 noiser, and it's uh, it's quite a disturbing sound. <laughs> it reminds me of my fifth birthday when one of my friends showed up. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't show up. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm over it. <laughs> you can see here, Pick Alex managed to take out one of the opponents, and Nuke is coming in with the Nobushi to help him. They might just take that point back. Into that top heavy, top heavy was successful, but he still has a bit of health, and that light from the Nubushi just takes him out. And they keep their advantage with this uh, this fight that was won. Really nice play to, uh, by the devs. Shout out to devs. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see on the score, it is really, really even here between the devs and the streamers. Yeah, at this point, I'm just wondering if we're just heading for a double breaking with uh, like an absolute... Uh, like team fight at the end or if uh, we're gonna see some kind of upset that makes it a uh, guarantee for one team or the other we've got a gank situation here if we can cut to the FWFC fan club and uh, <laughs> see what they're saying I'll, I'll take it all right. I'm all right wait till we're done. We're done. <laughs> 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 It's so good! 
I have to leave you alone. Oh. No, I tried sweeping, I think he just said. <laughs> Kitties, get out of here, though. Nice. I've got, I've, what do you mean, get out of here? My point. Uh, he's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. Don't touch him. Don't touch what, him. What, what do you heal. mean? I was here first. That's like saying that you were on a point before I was. It doesn't make any sense. We gotta take it. Sweep doesn't work. Hey, sweep is good. Get fire. Some uh, argument between the positive gamer and kitties there about who was on the point first. Uh, it seemed pretty aggressive. It was getting pretty heated there. Yeah, you know, a yeah. lot of bad blood between them now. I hear that's usually how it goes for uh, you know esport. That's yeah. how you decide first there. <laughs> yeah, I was first here, dude. What the hell are you talking about? We have Pick Alex going up against Hyperion here, the protagonist of this game. Another nice charge there from the warlord. Going to use this window to escape thanks to his. Uh, is a Baxter friend giving him a, a bit of a breather here. Tried to go for the full charged bash, but unsuccessful as he gets wall splatted into that heavy combo there by Baxter. Headbutt into light connects. Nice parry there from Baxter into that side heavy. Goes for a headbutt into the light. And uh, the feet is popped and it's level three Warden. He's, uh, he's been leveling up fast. He's been doing, he, he really knows how the Mafia works at this point. Oh yes. We can see how good he is. I wonder who's actually going to take this. Uh, I thought Baxter had it in the back, but it's interesting to see uh, Alex pulling out all the tricks. And that's going to be it for tricks, <laughs> except that last one right there. That's a body kickflip right there. Have you ever kickflipped your own dead body? <laughs> he did. Yo, it's, it's something I'm training towards, you know. I really want to go out, to go out with a bang when I die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think a kickflip is the right choice for this. <laughs> So Hyperion just clearing up B to earn that breaking amount of points. And that leaves the Dev team in a very, very worrying position here. Two of them are down. And, and they don't even have the zones to uh, maybe, uh, you know, get this breaking off and uh, have their own kind of breaking right there. I think it's going to be difficult with only two players left. Uh, Alex is still full HP. He's trying, but he's 38 off from helping his team come back. He's trying to go for the revives. Uh, nice well, use of the map right there. Going around just to get to that point. Setback is not going to let him do that. The number one positive gamer getting that top parry on uh, Pick Alex. Oh, I think Alex tilted right there because. Uh, <laughs> tries to go for the heavy, heavy, unsuccessful. Gets the shield bash into the light combo. Nice parry there into that top heavy from Setback. <laughs> Baxter comes crashing in with his shield. Oh, <laughs> Don't get back in the oh. <laughs> Let's hear what the FWFC have to say about this last stand. Um, can we 1v1 everybody no. here? Or no. That, Oof. Wow, so much ganking. Yeah. So much ganking. <laughs> Shigoki dropping that mic. After he dropped that laugh. Yes, honestly, we should just uh, sound clip this and use it in an emote. I think, uh, yeah, I think that would be worth it. It's emote worthy. <laughs> hey, what up? It's the party man himself, Luke the Shane. You, <laughs> you get your birthday party now. Finally, my fifth birthday party when, uh, you know, people join me on my actual birthday. So, I'm, I'm tearing up a bit. It's so sad. So, uh, anyway, that was... Another loss for the Dev team. I feel morale is at an all-time low. Yes, at the same time, format. it might be motivation. They need to win that last match because it was really close. You know, uh, when you get this close to the sun... Uh, it's you, bound to burn. Yeah, it's bound to burn, but that's what you want, right? Yo, this wait, analogy wait. was kind of <laughs> it was kind of clumsy. <laughs> I still stand by it. <laughs> you follow it through, man. You, you don't, you don't yeah, let it die. Follow you, through is what matters. You know, I bet you people in chat loved it. Eh? I bet you people in chat I loved it. I they did. I live but for so, chat. The last game will be on a different variation of the hardware map. And you know what? I'm really enjoying this map so far. The high point, as we said, if you have the high ground, yes. you're doing well. That's actually a very, a very interesting variation that we have for the the main lane. Uh, like, I was one of the first ones to doubt it. You know, uh, <laughs> many drop attacks is it's usually kind of annoying. But in this context, it's so fresh and it's so new. And there's so much control over uh, how you can take that back. So you, there's a... There's just two steps to playing the lane in this map, basically. You want to control the high ground, and then you can get down and actually clear out the soldiers and all that stuff. 
Exactly. Yeah. Hopefully, my eyes will actually work now after seeing that warden. So, I'm taking some time to cleanse my eyes before we get into the next game, just to make sure that such we're a drama queen. No, it's not even drama queen. I'm telling you, a warden should never be customized like that. It's objectively bad, is what <laughs> you're saying. That's the problem of having such deep customization in For Honor. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so we're moving into the last game where we have our last protagonist of today with Roman for the Dev Team and Baxter for the FWFC. Mm. Baxter, I just love watching his stream, man. I uh, used to be a Berserker main myself, and uh, oof, it was yeah. so inspiring yeah. to watch that. Hopefully we get to see the Ricardo flick when they win the game. A little hair flick at the end from both him and Setback. They have the hair for it, they just need to deliver. Ricardo? Yeah. Have you... The hair flick, obviously the camera's not on me, but the little hair flick, you'll, you'll see when they win, okay? He gets the deflect into that guard break on Nuke, and big damage was dropped on him. You can see there, uh... You can see Roman that's uh, amazed that he missed a hit. <laughs> I don't know what it was, we didn't see it, but it sounded frustrating. Nice little poke there from Nuke, but he is pulling back, realizing that he definitely is in a big health deficit, but the charged heavy, I mean, not the charge heavy, the dash heavy lands and that beautiful new Berserker execution comes out. That was amazing. That's it's so it's something else. He, you think it's going to end. You're like, oh, he dropped the two axes on him. Okay, th that looks good. Then he stands on them. It's like, oh, okay, that's good. And then he just chops off his neck. We're seeing now Roman on the Shigoki. Let's see if he's going to go uh, and try for that uh, mirror duel against uh, Kitty again. Is Kitty still on the Shigoki for this match? I think he is. He's, uh, he's a Shigoki main, so I would hope so. We've got Hyperion on the, the new Black Prior and Setback on the Jang Jun here. Headbutt lands on Setback. Tries to go for the hug. Hug unsuccessful. The top light lands on Roman, and Roman is down at point C. We can feel the loss of velocity for the dev team here. They seem to be uh, not playing as well as before. Well, it seems to be the different environment. The snow, you know, it's really cold uh, outside, so I, I, I don't blame them. <laughs> right. <laughs> that must Look, be why. My, my jokes go downhill as we progress, okay? So that's... Uh, it's, it's okay, that's it's, the last it's, match, so you don't yeah, have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Baxter having a hard time with that uh, Berserker Mirror duel here. We might see uh, the King having his uh, crown taken. <laughs> and and, and that's going to be it. And his back's being cracked. So a little back crack. A little therapeutic experience there before he dies. <laughs> Roman with the taunt there right at the end. The weep taunt. Now he's going to be staying on point C to make sure he doubles. I mean point A to make sure he doubles. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure he doubles on the score. You can see we were saying that you know the devs start off on the on, yes, on the back. That's, a, that's actually right. a nice comeback right there. A really nice comeback. That's the beauty of Dominion. You know, a comeback can happen at any point. Uh, Pick Alex finding himself in a tricky situation against Baxter and uh, Kitty. Kitty just going for that charging attack to take him out. Roman obviously looking at the scoreboard, trying to get to that top part of the scoreboard just so he could type in chat. You guys were useless. Yes, yeah, it's, it's for the bragging rights. You, yeah. know? you want to tell everyone that you carried them. That's <laughs> the point. That's the point of online games. Nice little execution. Oh, that that that, that is just an ace one. Puts him in. <laughs> His head's just become a pot. Baxter pulling back up to point looking B. pretty pleased with himself. He kind of seems like a lost puppy right now. He doesn't know where he's going. Chilling. <laughs> he's doing whatever he wants. <laughs> Oof. The slowest light attack in the history of light attacks coming out from Hyperion out of stamina. Roman just facing up against him. Trying to nice bank on that out of stamina. Headbutt follow up, leaving him in very low stamina. And he is out of stamina now. Can Roman capitalize on that? Gets the back crack. Regenerate stamina and a bit of health there. 25 health, to be exact. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> guard break into top light lands another head but just misses there but that one sure as hell lands doesn't seem to be able to uh capitalize on those out of stem uh, that uh, hyperion is living through well after that uh, horrific defeat okay. of roman let's listen to into the fwfc and see what they're saying arm embrace what are you saying arm embrace arm, arm embrace, arm embrace. Arm and no, brace. No. Instead of arm and hammer, it's arm and brace. Ah, I'm so bad at that. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> after all that. Yeah. Good effort. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, who needs a shield? I will. Uh, Baxter, Baxter, yeah. Baxter. Shield's oh. on sale today. Oh, there you oh please don't knock me out of the execution. Wait, how do I? Oh, I totally Die. gave it to the rock. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I'm dead though. I don't know where that came from. That's okay, this lets me kill minions easy peasy. Game raising. What can I say? Just lets them kill minions easy peasy. That's all. Yeah, at this point with the, the advance they have, uh, they do just need to do that. But we can see here uh, the, the, the dev team taking back uh, point A and point C. So we might see a, a bit of an upset if they can win this, uh, this team fight here. That's going to be a boost city for uh, zone A. Stefan just gets the execute there on Baxter. And they're going against Hyperions. Black Prior. You see Roman just trying to assist him, uh, assist the fan where he can. <laughs> can they get the knockover against the guard break? Guard break only leads him to the pillar. <laughs> and out of He's going to leave the zone anyway. That was nowhere near Stefan. It's okay. <laughs> the light attack just to finish him off. Roman pulling back to point A just to get that double points. On they just there. can't afford to not go for it. They want to they redeem some honor. It's for their honor right now. Oh. Hey, guys. Yo, I'm, I'm, he I'm here all week, guys. I'm here all week. <laughs> <laughs> nice parry there from Baxter into that side heavy on Roman. Gets the light in as well. The mix-ups. The berserker mix-ups. As he said, you enjoyed watching Baxter stream. Learning the ins and outs Oof. of his character. Nice side heavy there. Falls oh. off with the unblockable top heavy. To finish him off and capture A for his team. You have to love those moments where you just let that top heavy rip and you're like oh. when it lands yeah. when it lands it is you'll never see it fucking coming beautiful guard break bye -bye. successful and bye bye nuke <laughs> followed up with a backflip and the little son you saw it in cams he looks at his enemy and provokes him <laughs> good and good fights <laughs> good fights all wow. around wow positive gamers by the way <laughs> these guys are you know la creme de la creme of positivity once again, uh, it's an all-too-familiar scene where we see the where we see the dev team breaking against the streamers. Roman just not gonna stay in there. Roman just tried to only charge into literally nothing. We go Baxter in this three v one situation. Tries to take out Roman. Roman in critical health, but does get the shield that from shield his black prior, and it's gonna be pointless in the end. Too Kitty. bad. Kitty takes him out. We're on Baxter back again. Let's listen into what the team has to say as Baxter falls to his death. Careful. I gotta get this ledge. Oh. With the... oh. It's in my eyes and it burns. Oh, that's actually gonna be really good. Ah. Stop. I'm just trying oh, to get yeah. my friend a shield. Mm, mm, mm. Enjoy nice your fairy. swim. Whoa! <laughs> that was beautiful. That was, uh, that was nice. Oh wait, so our friends di oh, died. Whoops. Let me get so, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, scatter. I'll get this ready. Nice. Get out of the way of my execute. What's that? What's that? Come on. Come on. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Show it off. <laughs> Why am I on the ground? That's for, that's for not being nice to your teammates. Yeah. We're just trying to celebrate in our own unique way. So what we do on the, the variation, or, or start, first starting the sets, are making sure that they all have a different structures. So as you saw it in the concept art, uh, this is the very first one that you uh, will the first step of the variation that you will receive and uh, it's what you can kind of have it uh, what, what you can kind of see is a more of a very basic basic uh, setup yeah. basic visual and you can move on to this can I ask for a that favor one. and get a close-up of the uh the dude that looks like Skeletor. Yeah, this guy. Because <laughs> I love it so much. The final variation. Yes, this one is uh, oh. the final variation of this set. They all look very different in a, in a certain way. They all have their own feeling. So the first set was uh, the material wise that we divided into the cloth and the, with the com combination of a cloth and the metal. Mm. The second one is uh, the leather 
with the metal and third one is uh, more on the uh, leather with uh, I love the old mutton chop man right this guy yeah, the second one he's lived a life <laughs> this one's pretty cool too so this is set this is the second set right here the second set and then we play around with the ages too so with the makeups and it gives a different yeah, look there's of such it. a variety just within the sets I love right. it and this is the, the set that we reveal the base Here's a closer Bully. look at Erzabet. Yeah. This is the benefit that we have it putting the ornament on the shoulder pad. Because we have more freedom to play around with the, the helmet design or head design or the head design. So there is no constraint and that we can come up with uh, many different yeah. variations. Uh, this is uh, the one with the full helm. Yes, the, the much requested full helm. Yeah. And you have a lot of fun with these helmets, too. Right. So this is another visual language that we kind of brought it for the Dark uh, Knights, uh, Black Prior. We brought more of a fantasy uh, element right. instead of a more realistic looking of it. So you will, uh, they will stand out and they will be differenti differentiated from the other knights. And it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he isn't evil, but he sure has an evil aura about, <laughs> about him. <laughs> Unique, I would say. Oh, yeah. Even in the materials, we have that, that specific feel where we get that dark steel mixed with that bright steel and the dark leather that uh, is very... We, we worked a lot on these, uh, on these uh, reflections that we get from the light and everything. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And uh, the thing you were talking about earlier, which I think is cool, is the way we're treating ornaments on the Black Prior. You can have a lot more fun with those helmets, right? right. Where you don't need to plan for an ornament to be able to attach onto it because now it's on the shoulders. Up to the point, we'll always have to be respectful on the, the sh where we place the ornaments. Yep. In this case, we had most freedom. We could do anything that we want. So now, one starting from, uh, from the starting, we have the one with the crown, uh, other different type of ornament-ish. Uh, we just... The sky's the limit, so we could bring more and more. Yes. Yeah, it's just amazing. I, I love, I love just getting to look at these. Your jobs are so cool. Thank you. <laughs> but when we talk about gear, armor is only half the story. So let's check out some of the swords and shields that uh, the Black Prior will have. And Anthony, you've just brought a sampling, right? This is not the full. Yeah. The no, full exactly. uh, spectrum. Yeah, I think there's 25 releasing uh, with the, the Black Prior right now, but these is, this is just some of them. Okay. And uh, as you'll see, there's a certain evolution uh, to these weapons. We start off with something that's uh, more noble. So we got wood uh, mixed in there with leather on the, 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 the bigger surface, which is the shield. And as we go on, uh, you'll see that the design is not only going to change, but the materials also. Uh, which is pretty cool. It's going to reflect the character itself and the evolution of the character itself. Those last two you just showed, the yeah. blue and the red, is that also where like team colors are going to be? No, not these nope. ones. These ones are very uh, specific. So the oh, red cool. one is basically uh, some form of leather uh, that's applied to the whole surface. Behind it, there's wood. Uh, and as we go on, oh my God. you'll see that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'll see that the designs become more vi vicious. Um, yes. That's because the shield also is a way... For the character to attack. Wow. So something that I teased uh, with uh, before on the conception. Oh my God. Is, uh, there's a you can <laughs> see there's a uh, spikes on the side of the shield, and I think you might have noticed on the execution. The execution. So yeah. They're using that as uh, not just to defense, but they also offense as well. Yeah, this evolution is pretty cool. It uh, it really reflects the background story of the character. Yeah. You know, once a noble knight. Uh, plunged into darkness, becoming something else. He uh, started listening to Slayer and stopped <laughs> listening to his parents. Exactly. Oh, we've been uh, there. This is pretty cool. The last the last one that you see here is the one from the uh, the intro video. Yeah. Yep. It's a pretty cool weapon. Oh, man. It's such a great variety, too. Mm -hmm. I love I love how wild you can go because the, the, the shield is basically a blank canvas. For exactly. The, for exactly. The artist. Yeah, you can just fill it up. Oh, my God. It's like a dragon skeleton. Yeah, this one has some... Uh, those blades on the side. And can you zoom in on that one, uh, the hilt on that one? I just want to see the... Uh, this one here? Yeah. Oh, man. With it's like the a beak. <laughs> it's like a dragon yeah. beak thing. I love it. With this variation of shield, variation of uh, armors, 
uh, ornament on the on the on the shoulder, I think you will be able to create very different uh, characters from each other. Absolutely. Exactly. And all these sets down there, they're all interchangeable also. And I think uh, something to me that I think is is probably you tell me was maybe an interesting challenge because it's a it's a you're you know you spent the last year you're working at the Wulin and all that. Now you're back to doing a new night. Right. We have the warden who is the iconic, not just the iconic figure of the knights, the iconic figure of the game. Okay, now now create a brand new knight from scratch. It can't just be another warden. True. Uh, can't be a lawbringer. That's our biggest, most difficult challenge that we had to face. Well, eventually, you know, like it's, uh, that's something that that we're always facing. It is a. Uh, we, we want to make sure each characters, each uh, characters in the faction looks different, so they don't look each other when you place it all at the same time next to each other. Mm -hmm. So they will have a uh, different structures, different usage of uh, materials. So this is one we used up a lot on the previous five, six, six characters, and now this was a big challenge. But then I think we succeeded well, oh, yeah. bringing uh, different, um, using different materials and the uh, different culture. Of, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Props to the team because the, the black card does not at all is not I know people have been uh, like speculating like oh I hope we get an edgy warden and it is so far beyond just an edgy warden <laughs> that, that's so I'm uh, happy to hear yeah that. you guys did a great job I love um, that and that's uh, another way of actually of our friends at Ubisoft more, uh, usage of the beer and yeah. the, the color of the beer so I support can... white beard right. <laughs> totally I think general uh candy got one yeah this one is a uh, more experienced look we should manufacture those pens yeah. <laughs> sure the embroidery, yeah. Embroidery is really looking good on these. Yeah. Always very fancy pants. I like the texture of the pants. Like you can really feel the depth and every the, the yeah. texture of it and uh, the shine. I feel like when you're touching it that there will be some uh, shapes. Yeah, some relief to it. Yeah. This one's pretty cool too. It's a very traditional look. Oh, I love the makeup. So it's a traditional uh, Chinese theater make makeup. Okay. It's uh, quite different than the kabuki makeup. And let's finish with our famous Jiang Jun. Yep. Oh. Pretty cool too for this one on the clothing. We used uh, embroidery again. Yes, uh, it's great. It's bringing a lot of shininess to it, uh, which the cloth is contrasted right now so you have a more matte looking cloth and then you have this embroidery that shines and brings textures like you said before and uh, a lot of relief on it so everything will be available next week for on January, January 31st right. for the next season so first season of year three so now we're going to transition to the weapons which are absolutely incredible where are the weapons? Right there. here. There we go. We're catching up with the winter event? Yeah, exactly. So this is the uh, same idea as uh, last year's winter event. Uh, so it's a thematic that really worked well. Last time we, bought, we uh, brought it to the game, so we decided to bring it again this time um, for uh, winter, you know, so since winter is still around. <laughs> so, yes, it is. We're bringing it back, and uh, it's pretty cool. Still, uh, still. Um, For me, it's the detail. I don't know if you want to, yeah. to focus a bit on the detail of, yeah. the, of the ilt. It's so much. There's so much detail. Yeah, it's beautiful. For such a small object to have that yes. much detail is is very good. It's very nice. Again, a nice shield. So we have this uh, this sort of uh, Arctic landscape feeling to them. So the blue color, the the bright uh, bright uh, silver. And uh, the gems, the transparent gems. For me, what I find really, really impressive is, like, seriously, I mentioned it before, but it's the level of details. It's such a small item that you don't, like, you won't necessarily see it. Yeah. Like, when you play, but when you take the time to look at it, it is so beautiful. Look at all the details. Here. Exactly. That's the fun yeah. part. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah, I can Once imagine. We get into the very detail, M not many people have a chance to enjoy it. But then, for us, we'll try to put as uh, as nice and balanced detail as much mm -hmm. as possible. It's always cool for the artists right. to work yeah. on this. And uh, as a player, also when you go to the barracks and you look at this weapon, you can really see it up close. So this is when all the these details come to life. This one's very cool. Yeah. And as always, shields. 
she very nice portable. place to uh, put a lot of details on. And, and I like called. the fact that they're all, like as you mentioned, it's the winter team, so they're yeah. all in the same color palette. Exactly. They are but, all unified, yeah. and they're all really well uh, balanced with the, the, the old uh, collection that we made for the, the winter event. Highlander? This was the Islander. Yeah, this was the Highlanders, and this. Yeah, we said one of the, the execution Shaman. of the Islander earlier. Shaman, yeah. We're sitting here watching it. it was oh, this is for Kensei. Kensei, Kensei yeah. So I'm sure Damien will love that one. It's for the Orochi. Nobushi. Nobushi, yeah. For me, it's like it's so beautiful for a deadly object. <laughs> yeah. Shugoki. This one's very cool. Yeah. Wish we have some kind of a library to kind of just a showcase whatever yeah. you have a collector. No, no, wait. Look, Zoom, for me, I, when I saw it yesterday when we we're preparing today, yeah. the faces, yeah. it's so great. Like you see the two different faces. <laughs> I don't know who did that one, but it's. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's very, very, very interesting. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to everyone working on this. They're doing yeah. a great job. Oh, this is for the Chandi, I guess? Yeah, this is Chandi. So this this is new uh, this year. So we have the whole woolen faction that have uh, that now zoom have... On the, zoom on the... Yeah, the cloth here. Yeah, on the cloth. Yeah. You, see the you can see the fabric. You yeah, can tell the, the detail on the fabric, which right. is quite impressive as well. Very cool. People did an amazing job. Shall we? Yeah, this one's the Nusha. Nusha. Very nice symmetry on this weapon. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's... And this and one. And the Jiangjun. Love how the dragon... Yeah. 